Hi, welcome to another episode of Two Minutes on Tuesday. I'm Sam Miller of Remax Stars Realty. This week's episode, we're going to talk about Apple Valley in the average sale price at the Apple Valley Lake. All the sales statistics are going to come directly from the Knox County Multiple Listing Service. And I did a report over the last 10 years showing how many houses sold each year and also what the average sale price was for that year. Now I'm gonna begin by telling you from 2014 today, so that 10 year period, the pricing of homes basically doubled in the period of 10 years. So from 2014 to 2023, essentially, you know, you look back 183, 182,827, and today the average sale price this year is averaging about 372,000. Now, there's a lot of reasons why there's a shift in the average price and also you'll see the number of sales each year that took place. So far this year, there's been fewer home sales sell at Apple Valley, but not because uh, the market was slow. The market was extremely strong. The difference was there wasn't much in the way of availability. There weren't a lot of homes for sale today compared to last year, the years before, uh, and even over the last 10 years. This was the lowest supply of available homes that I've seen in the last 10 years. So, and also the number of new houses being built uh, was fewer in my opinion. And the reason I believe the pricing will stay on average higher is the lot prices now have gone up quite a bit. So any person buying a lot to build a home, the cost to acquire that lot to build the new construction, either for yourself if you're buying that lot or a builder buying it with the idea of building a home for speculation to resell, before they ever start building the house, they've got more money invested just in the lot uh, in order to build that house. So the new construction pricing won't be going down, it's probably gonna be going up. So something of interest so far this year, there's been 84 houses that have sold at the Apple Valley Lake with an average sale price so far this year of $372,505. Now last year, there were a few more houses that had sold 97, but the average sale price last year was $52,000 less than this year. Again, last year there were more homes available, so there wasn't as much competition. And for that reason, this year, fewer homes, demand was high and the average price was higher. Plus we had a handful of very expensive waterfront homes that sold. And when you have a million dollar or a million five hundred thousand dollar home that sells, it actually raises the average sale price across the board. So that may have some influence, not the bulk of it, but some influence on why that average is a little higher. Now, if you look back over time, 2022, there were 97, 2021, there were 123 homes sell, 2020, of course, during COVID, uh, right at the very beginning, 108. We didn't have many homes for sale at that time because a lot of people didn't want us in their home when COVID first hit. 2019, you can see a massive spike. We went from 2020 at 108 homes to 2019 with 142. That's obviously pre-COVID numbers, so the market was still buzzing right along. 2018, 159, 2017, 164, and uh, 2016, That was the peak. The most houses sold at Apple Valley in the last 10 years was 180 single family homes. And what's interesting is 180 homes at 177,000, uh, that's a pretty interesting number when you look at it because again, that's half of what the average sale price is today. So uh, I thought this would be helpful. Uh, the market is strong. I think it'll continue to be strong. Uh, and now that the interest rates are starting to tick back down, we were up into the mid eights. Now we're in the more of the mid sixes. Uh, the affordability of homes has gotten a lot better uh, compared to like two months ago. So hopefully this is helpful. If you got questions, feel free to give us a call, 740-397-7800. Sam Miller, Remax Stars Realty. I'll come back to you next week. Have a good one and Merry Christmas. Bye.